Welcome to Lawrenceburg Public Library's Teen Takeout Take and Make for April. This month we're doing blackout poetry and I hope it's something that you'll really like. So when you come to the library and pick up your box, this is what you'll find inside. Aren't there people on YouTube that make a lot of money doing unboxing? Maybe we should go viral. Oh wait, we are. Anyway, when you open up your box, you will find directions to tell you exactly how to make out make blackout poetry. You find a sheet of poetry prompts that you can do alone or with a friend, and then a list of 10 poems that you actually might love, or at least if you don't love them, you might not hate them. And you'll also have a Sharpie and a whole bunch of pages ripped out of old library books. Now don't worry, they weren't books that people were reading or would want to read. They were books that we have taken out of the collection and instead of recycling them, we're giving you the opportunity to do some really amazing artwork and poetry. So the first thing you wanna do is pull out all your papers, look through them, skim the pages, see what looks interesting. And when you've found something that you think will work for you, take that page, second step, with a pencil, which isn't included, you want to go through and lightly circle any words on the page that you think would make a really awesome poem. They don't have to all go together. It doesn't have to be final. That's why you're doing it in pencil. But just circle any words that you think are unique or interesting. Then, when you go through and you see the words that you have circled, look and see what you might like to put into your poem. And when you find those particular words, take your Sharpie and put a square or a rectangle around each one of those. Then, this is where the art comes in and it's really fun. Take the Sharpie, or if you have other Sharpies, or even use watercolors or crayons, make a design on your page around the poem. Now, it's called blackout poetry because when this first started, you would take your Sharpie and you would black out all the words except for the ones that you wanted to show. But you can be creative and do it any way you want to. In the papers that I gave you, there's also a link to a YouTube video, and she shows you how to do it in some more examples. Here are some examples that I've chosen for you. The first two I printed offline. This one is very simple. It's just taking the words that you're interested in, drawing a rectangle or a square around them, and then blacking out the rest of the page. The second example is a little bit more complex. It would help if I held it the right way. This artist took the words they were interested in for their poem and actually made a drawing around it that reflected the nature of the poem. These are some fabulous examples that one of my teen volunteers did for me the other day. You can see she did them in all different styles and different ways by circling the words that she was interested in and then using colored markers and crayons, and basically whatever we had available to her to make these one-of-a-kind art masterpieces. So this just gives you some general ideas of what you can do. And oh, by the way, if you're looking for volunteer hours or you'd be interested in being a volunteer at the, here at the library, let me know and I will get you an application. We are always looking for teen volunteers, especially with a very, very busy summer reading program coming up. We have 77 programs scheduled, and so we will be needing a whole lot of volunteers. So if you're interested, give me a call, stop in and see me, or send me an email. In addition to the pages and the pen and the helpful hints, and the directions. We're also giving you a bookmark that will have some uh, poetry books that we have here at the library in our young adult collection. Now because they're part of our young adult collection, um, they may have images or words or descriptions um, that, are, that are, would be considered mature contact, content. So when checking out materials from the young adult collection at our library, please keep that in mind. Here are some that I've chosen especially for you. This one is called Tell the World. Um, it's a, a broad range of poems from different writers. This one is called Girl Coming In for a Landing. 
and it's actually a novel in poems. And if you've never read a novel that's written in poetry, this would be a good place to start. This one's called How I Discovered Poetry. This one is The Time You Let Me In. It sounds intriguing, doesn't it? This is just to say, it's a, po it's a poetry book about apologies and forgiveness. And then the final one I have to show you today is Love. It contains poems by E.E. E. Cummings, who's a very, very well-known po poet, and I would definitely recommend reading some of E.E. E. Cummings' work as well. So those are the poetry books that you'll find here at the Lawrenceburg Library. I hope you stop in and get your teen takeout box. Uh, they're available here at Lawrenceburg and at the North Dearborn branch. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know. And we would love to see your poetry, so please bring it in and show us. Or you can always post it on our Facebook page, our Instagram account, or on our Twitter. See you next time!